and welcome. My name is Oinola Sale and this is The Tax Talk. The entire trust of the show is to inform and educate you on taxes with a spotlight on Lagos State. This is Business News. Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu has named Wale Edu, who served as a senior advisor on monetary policy as finance minister. A former chair of Lagos-based investment bank, Chapel Hiddenham Group, Edu will be responsible for boosting government revenues, which are among the lowest in the world as a proportion of the economy. That's essential to help narrow budget deficit expected to reach 5% of gross domestic product this year while reducing debt service payments, which in 2022 amounted to a staggering 96% of government revenue. Edu served as Commissioner of Finance in Nigeria's commercial capital Lagos between 1999 and 2007 when Tinubu was governor and was credited with more than doubling the state revenue on his watch. SPAT have advised the federal government to focus on taxing consumption rather than production to boost the economy and check inflation. They spoke on the theme Finance Act 2023 implications on the tax and fiscal outlook for the new administration and the economy as panelists at the detailed tax business series in Lagos. On the need to increase the number of individuals and citizens in the tax net rather than increasing the tax rate, the panelists urged tax authorities to focus on taxation of persons in the informal sector and on registered businesses, adding that there should also be greater collaboration among the authorities. They said a reorientation of citizens, even at the family level, to encourage tax payment is also another key goal. On the Finance Act 2023, the expert noted that it had introduced rollover relief on disposal of shares under the Capital Gains Tax Act. The Chief Executive Officer, Nigeria Economic Summit Group, Mr. Lawi Jayola, has predicted a stronger economic growth in 2023 as firms' new orders, output growth rate, and inventory activities increase. Yayola said these are the third edition of the media review of 2023 economic outlook organized by the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria Center for Financial Studies held recently in Lagos. The program, in collaboration with BRDDP Associates Limited, is designed to evaluate the performance of the Nigerian economy in the prior half of the year while providing an outlook for the second half of the year. According to him, the private sector performance is notably responsible favorably to the current policy posture of the new government, adding that there is a likelihood for stronger than expected economic growth in the remaining part of 2023 as firms' new orders, upper growth rate, and inventory activities increase. The federal government says it has no plans to increase taxes or add to the burdens of the country's tax-paying citizens. The chairperson, Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform, Taiwo Yedili, said this while reacting to unconfirmed report of government's plans to increase taxes. The tax expert revealed that what government proposed was to reduce the country's over 60 official taxes down to a single-digit tax number. According to him, the plan is to be able to reduce the number to single digits so that across all levels of government, you do not pay more than 10 taxes. And that's it on Business News. Welcome back. It's time for Corporate Talk. On the show today, our discussion will center on challenges affecting tax collection in the informal sector. Joining me to discuss it is Dr. Folashade Koka, Director, Informal Sector and Special Duties at the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's certainly our pleasure. Now, can you provide insights on the duties and responsibilities of the Informal Sector Directorate at the LRS? Okay, thank you. Um, I think I'd want to start with the fact that I'm the new Bo Oyebo Director of the LRS. <laughs> because I deal with the informal sector, so we do not speak um, big, big grammars. So in the informal sector directorate, what do we do? We ensure that um, 
the people that form the base of the pyramid, that's the um, unlearned majorly, are enumerated, they are enlightened, we have stakeholders engagement, we ensure that um, we bring ease of doing business into that sector and um, try to enumerate and enlighten and ensure they collect or they pay their taxes. So um, the directorate goes on a daily enlightenment um, program to the market. So we have over 450 um, markets in Lagos. So we try to cover that spread using the Bile division. That's the Ikeja, Badagri, um, Ikorodu, Lagos Island, and Ekwe division. So we have our regions structured in that regard. And we're enlightening the taxpayers in the market areas. Um, we ensure that um, through the Bile application, they are able to pay their taxes with ease. They are able to collect evidence that they've paid those taxes. We are able to give them um, receipts of payment, government receipts of payment. And um, where they do not have tax cards, we also furnish them with SIM. So we collect their biometrics because they are highly mobile. They can be in um, Agege market today, tomorrow they are in um, Ogba market. So through the Billy application, we're able to ensure that no matter where they go to, we have their details because the difference between IGR, increase in IGR and lack of IGR is accurate database. So we create that accurate database of this sector that is not too learned and ensure that we utilize that to generate revenue for the state government through the LIRS. So that's what we do on a daily basis. How does this sector contribute to the overall tax revenue generated by the LRS? Okay, um, so right now, um, what we contribute is very infinitesimal or very minute. But the reality is that um, we are like the foot soldiers of the agency. So we do the enumeration and enlightenment, so we are able to help every directorate to grow their tax nets. So we're able to identify who is where and what they are doing and where they should belong within the agency. So the people that should be in PIT, we're able to identify them and transfer them there. The people that should be in high net water but are hiding within the market space, we're able to bring them into the tax net. And over time, they're able to go within the high net water directorate. So that's our first point of duty, to enumerate and enlighten people so that nobody will say that, oh, we do not know what tax is, we do not know who is collecting it, we do not know where we should pay. Then the second level is to also, as a directorate, help increase um, the taxes and the IGR of the state. How so, do you do that? So right now what we do is um, there is the first base, which is the Billy application. The Billy application, as I've said, is I'm using the Billy division, but it's a unique um, application in the sense that We've realized that market people do not want to leave their markets or business to start looking for 40 tax stations or 40 mini tax stations or the head office. So we've decided that um, we would go there to meet them. So, and then you also have um, the high streets. So okay. we go from shop to shop because they are also within the informal sector right now. But we are hoping that with time, we'll be able to actually separate the wheat from the chaff and the people that should be within the informal sector will be left there and everybody else will be enumerated and upgraded to where they should be. Dr. Koko, I've learned a lot regarding the informal sector and I'm sure our viewers at home want to learn more because it has been quite interesting and informative. But right now, we need to go on a quick break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. The tax talk continues. Hey, Gloria, come, come. <laughs> yes. Guess what? What's up? Oh, yes. I just got my offer letter from Mnet for the movie I sold to them. Wow. Yes, wow. That's great news. I know. So how much are they offering? They are offering 2 million naira with 12 months paid TV exclusive. Wow, that's yes. fair. Uh, but wait. When you sold your movie to them, did they take tax from you. Listen, every filmmaker who has sold content to Africa Magic already knows this. Mnet is a corporation, so it's deducting and collecting tax is a requirement for them by the government. Yeah, but the thing is, if they take tax from the two millionaire they are offering, how would I be able to get my capital back? Dude, don't be greedy. I'm not.
Welcome back to the show. Now, earlier on, we spoke on how revenue is generated in the informal sector. Let's take a look at the challenges and compliance. Now, what challenges are the informal sector facing right now? For the informal sector directorate, um, what challenges do we face trying to enumerate and assess um, people in this sector? One is, as I said, easy migration. A lot of people continue to migrate from one place to the other. So you can find um, Ya Shayo that sells beans here today as moved from Ogba to Agege. So mobility, high mobility is one. But the beauty of it is that the billing application through the biometrics captures those people. So wherever you go, um, you've been captured and even though you move around, we can still um, locate you. Is the LRS empowered to impose similar measures of seizure as the formal sector? Okay, thank you. Um, I think by that you are speaking of the Section 104 of the Personal Income Tax that speaks about um, this train. Yes, that cuts across every issue of non-compliance, but the reality is that the state government and the agency, the LRS, tries as much as possible not to um, enforce on this category of people because we feel that for a lot of them, we just need to continue the stakeholders' engagement, the enlightenment and moral suasion, and um, that will bring a lot of them into the tax net. But at the end of the day where we do not have those set of people comply, then we might have to look at enforcement. But um, for a long time now, not um, seizure of um, goods or chattels, just um, subtle enforcement majorly. That's what we'll look at. But for now, we'll continue the engagement and moral suasion until we are sure that you're actually recalcitrant or you really do not want to pay your taxes, then we'll have to enforce. And how well will you rate the tax compliance level in the informal sector? Uh, the Tax compliance level of the informal sector still has a long way to go and a short time to get there. Because for government to do a lot of initiatives and programs, infrastructure, security, everyone must contribute to that common cause. And the people in the formal sector have been doing that for a long time. It's now time for everyone in the informal sector to also contribute their bit. So um, the state government is going to be addressing that. And everyone within that sector must be brought to the tax net and must pay their taxes going forward as and when due. And where can they get more information regarding this? Everyone can always visit any of our 40 tax stations or 40 mini tax stations or the head office. We also have um, the website, the e-tax website. Um, you can call us on 0700225554. And you can also send us emails on the info um, at lirs.net. You can visit us on Twitter. You can visit us on our Instagram handle. So you can call the customer care lines, as I've said. So there are various um, options to bring ease of doing business to the taxpayers to call us and have us address their concerns. As we wrap up, can you give the viewers at home your final words? Thank you so much. Any yami? Enyi baba mi, ite si wadu eko, adu moshe bubu wani. Eje ka fo wosu wopo, ki lu eko shi ma da. Ejo, e so wori ni, enyi egbe o nipako, enyi ara oja, ata jere o, ata jere le mata. O wori she pata ki o she koko, fun yi pile eko la ti ma she inkon ribi ribi, ti won she lo. A won e ya waton ron mo lo si le we o fe, ti eko, em, be si le, ejo e so wori, ki awon mo pupo na se le lo si ile iwe ko ri iwe ka ko de yanju ko yan gan my people my people for alaba for trade fair i greet you i greet una please make una pay una taxes make lagos continue to degrade every day people they come inside lagos because lagos they do great thing for business people people they try people they prosper for here make security make it strong for lagos Everybody make una pay una taxes. Our Galadima, Inakwana, Da Anla, pay your taxes, oh, Nago de, Nago de Anla. 
So say, wow, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on Corporate Talk today on the Tax Talk. It was revealing, informative, and engaging. We're really happy to have you on the show today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Oh, certainly. Well, we have come to the end of this discussion with Dr. Fola Shade Koka, Director, Informal Sector and Special Duties at the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service. Don't go anywhere. The tax talk continues. Hello, Mom. Hello, Jenny. Where are you? I'm on my way home, Mom. What is it, baby? You're sounding so unhappy. That's because I'm unhappy. I just got my offer letter. It's a role on a TV series. Aren't you supposed to be happy about that? Mom, I was happy until I got my offer letter. I'll be working three days a week for a year. The salary is 200000 a month. But they're going to be deducting tax. Welcome to the working world. Yeah, but Mom, why are they deducting anything at all? Think of it this way. You will be performing your civic duty. Hospitals and healthcare facilities, clean and safe roads, economic development, salaries of government workers. That will be your tax at work. You're still watching the tax talk. Let's take a look at the impact of taxes on infrastructure developments in Lagos. From road construction to public schools, taxes play a vital role in improving our city's infrastructure. Stay with us. I welcome you all to, to today to the commissioning of the Adenji Adele and Tapa Street built by Julius Berger Nigeria PLC as part of the Lagos Island Area North Action Plan. It's worthy to note that the Adenija Adelelo Road was even delivered ahead of schedule. A key to this success also lies in the good relations and strong partnerships between Julius Berger and the client, and without doubt in the support of the Executive Governor of Lagos State. We are here at the famous, strategic, important road on Lagos Island, the Adenja Delay and Tapa Street Road, here in the heart of Lagos Island. It's also a strategic road that traverses a major artery on Lagos Island. We've built from a two-lane to a four-lane with sidewalks, with drainage of international standards. We've completely reconstructed this whole stretch of road. And this complements our belief and our resolve to ensure that there's meaningful development in all nooks and crannies of the state. Mr. Governor, in commemoration and commissioning of the Adenja Delay Road and Tapa Street in Lagos Island, LG. Today, Friday, May 26, 2023. We are tax talk and we're about to hit the streets with today's trivia let's see what the people have to say on tax your brain
Welcome to another exciting episode of Tax Your Brain on the Tax Talk. My name is Omar Folari. I'll be going on the street of Lagos to ask people trivia questions. Stick around. Ibile, I, I guess Ibile is a house. A house. Ibile. 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 Ibile is a son of the soil. Then Lagos. Uh, this is a Lagos. Uh, uh, is a Lagos language. Ibile is a Lagos language. Ibile. I can't recollect. I know it's an acronym for uh, Lagos State. Um, Lagos State. Um, I know it's an acronym to use in Lagos State. But what's, what's it? Ibile. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel it's a Yoruba watcher. Okay, Ibile. Um, I'm a So number one is actually um, Ikorodu Badagri. Um, I Abi, it comes for I, that's Ikoro, then Lagos Island and Ekpe. Ikeja, actually, first, sorry. And it's a wrap on Tax Your Brain today. Thank you for sticking with us. The tax Talk continues. Part of the show today involved a chat with the Director, Informal Sector and Special Duties at the LRS. To discuss tax collection in the informal sector, we also hit the streets with a trivia question. Before we go, a quick reminder that you can follow us on all our social media platforms with the handles currently on your screen. This is where we end the show for this week. Join us again on the Tax Talk next edition and increase your knowledge on taxes and related matters. I am Oinola Sally and see you next week.